Hey there! I'm Empress, I'm from Russia, and in this blog I am telling you about Russia, its peculiarities, uh, some interesting facts, and some kind of weird uh, facts about Russia. Stay tuned! And in this video I want to talk more about uh, Russian gestures and body language. I had a video uh, when I was starting just uh, my YouTube channel, uh, I will link it down and also somewhere here. But I didn't cover all of gestures and uh, a lot of gestures came up to my mind. And uh, you know what? Uh, when you actually uh, Google some Russian gestures and body language, you can come across a lot of really old-fashioned ones. Uh, like the ones that I know them, I've seen them in movies, but I have never seen them in like real life. An example of that is um, like scratching the head. It means like, uh, especially men, uh, like according to a lot of articles, uh, usually they say that uh, um, when Russian men are thinking, uh, they do something like this. But uh, I've never seen this in real life. In movies, yes, for some maybe uh, comical, uh, uh, more comical view of uh, uh, what's going on. So yeah, they can uh, do uh, some uh, uh, thinking face and uh, scratch their head, but in real life, you know, no one does this. So here we'll be talking about real gestures and real body language that you can come across in Russia and uh, probably in some other uh, like uh, countries, Slavic countries that are close to Russia. Okay, so uh, how do you count? There are a lot with your fingers, there are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, I know that in uh, the USA, in some European countries, you count like this, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, first of all, in Russia we don't st start uh, with this finger, uh, we usually start with index finger, it's index, right? And uh, then we don't uh, like count our fingers outwards, uh, we usually count one, one, two, one, two, three, like this. Or you can uh, show, how do you show like number two when you want to order two cups of coffee? Uh, we show it like this, so we don't show like this, we show with our two those fingers. And I know that uh, in France or in the UK it's kind of an insult when you show it like this, but in Russia it's perfectly fine, it means just two, so don't hate me for that. <laughs> By the way, if we're talking about uh, Russian gestures, they are more reserved uh, than uh, like Italian gestures. Uh, but uh, some of the gestures you can see worldwide, like okay and uh, cool and uh, like thinking, that's things that we are also doing over here. Uh, but uh, let me try to show you some of the really local gestures. For example, do you know what this means when you like, do this. Or sometimes you can show like this. But it's rare, usually it's like this. That's the gesture, the old gesture that is still with us. Um, we don't show it often, but uh, still people will not feel weird when you show it like this. And an example of um, this gesture is, let's go. Or he's probably it means to drink or drunk. So let's go have a drink, let's go have a booze, or uh, he's drunk, he's too drunk. That's a good gesture and uh, I don't think I've seen it anywhere else apart from Russia. Or you can uh, tell me in the comments whether it's uh, true or not, or maybe you know this gesture as well. Okay, the next gesture is this. What do you think it means? It means money or cash. So like uh, uh, when you, for example, when you had some kind of excursion and uh, uh, you should pay for the excursion and uh, uh, you forgot and the person might uh, remind you of that by like, don't forget to pay, give me some money, give me some cash. Or we can uh, use this gesture in terms of expensive or pricey. So that's kind of, I can't afford it, uh, I don't have enough money, something like this. Okay, another gesture is, uh, I think it's kind of self-explanatory, but uh, maybe you don't have it. It's like, mm -mm. 
What do you think it means? Actually, it means that you're not like you're not okay with the situation or with the person. Like, nah, no, 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 no. Then when I'm thinking about it, probably it's not just Russian. Okay, moving on. The gesture that uh, I usually use and uh, the gesture that I think everybody understands, but then somehow in one of uh, variations of this gesture, people tend to not understand me. It's like shrugging your shoulders. Like, or it means like, I don't know, I don't care, like whatever. And this gesture is like, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, like, I'm not sure. And there was some kind of question also, like, ah. <laughs> no, I'm explaining uh, gestures with sounds, not even with words. Well done, Empress. Okay, and uh, one of the really important um, gestures at body language is a handshake. And people in Russia um, do greet each other with a handshake, especially when it's uh, the company of men. So when, uh, like imagine a group of uh, men standing and uh, talking to each other, then another one, uh, another man approaches them and uh, starts to talk with them. And before starting talking, uh, he usually shakes hands with uh, everyone. And uh, when leaving, he also sh shakes hands uh, with everyone because otherwise it will be kind of rude. Uh, in some uh, young uh, groups of people, like in young companies, they might uh, give a high five and uh, not just a handshake, but uh, the essence is still the same. So you should greet everyone in the room and uh, or while leaving, you should uh, say goodbye to everyone by handshaking if it's a man, by high-fiving or by just waving hand. But uh, still, usually in the man group, they uh, use handshakes. And the last uh, gesture is... Uh, are you with all those gestures? <laughs> it means that you're um, you're fed up uh, to your throat, like literally. So uh, you can't have more of that because it's over here. Something like uh, uh, like the kid is uh, misbehaving, and uh, uh, you can say that like I c I can't bear with this kid. Uh, his misbehavior is up here. Something like that. So what do you think? Have you seen some of those gestures before, or are they all new to you? Maybe you use some of them in your own countries? Let's discuss in the comments. Have you got any questions about Russia? Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification button. And also you can uh, visit my other social media, links in the description below. See ya!